It's now time for Mark Hankins, Faith for Every Nation. Mark and Trina train and equip leaders in every nation through church services, leadership conferences, mission trips, and media. Get ready for a direct and joyful message about how to grow in your faith and learn more about who you are in Christ. Now, let's join Mark and Trina. Come on, what your education cannot do. Come on, thank God for education. But, but no matter how much you know from school and college, what your education cannot do. Come on now, what your cute little personality ain't going to fix for you. Come on, no matter how talented you are, that ain't going to fix it for you. But when you know about that name, when you know about the name, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I plead the blood. <laughs> Somebody ought to start talking about that right now. Don't let the devil torment you for three days, four days, five days, come on, all week, and finally do something about it. Do something about it right now. I'll do something about it right now. Right now, come on now. You don't have to wait till Thursday or Friday. Hit him on Monday. I said, get him on Monday. Come on now, say, on Monday. I, we had church yesterday. I'm hitting you today on Monday. In the name of Jesus, I plead the blood. In the name of Jesus, I plead the blood. In the name of Jesus. Oh, come on now. In the name of Jesus, I plead the blood. Woo! The power of that blood. I said the power of that blood. The blood covenant. The precious blood of Jesus. That blood. Come on, Andre Kraut sang it. It reaches to the highest mountain. It flows to the lowest valley. That blood that gives me strength from day to day. It will never lose its power. It will never lose. It will never lose its power, his blood. The blood in the name of Jesus. I plead the blood. What does that mean when you say I plead the blood? Some people don't understand that. I plead the blood. Come on now, I was raised around that. So I know what that means. I know when you say I plead the blood. Like if you were in court, come on now. And you got charges that have been brought against you. But if you got a good advocate attorney, how many know who your advocate is? Woo! Come on, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ the righteous. He is our advocate, our lawyer in heaven. But the Holy Spirit is your advocate that lives on the inside of you. So you got one in heaven and one inside of you. Coming, you got charges coming against you or problems coming against you. How do you plead? Listen, Jesus has never lost a case. The Holy Spirit has never lost a case. And your lawyer is telling you, you better plead the blood of Jesus. So you say, in the name of Jesus, I plead the blood. Come back here and look at some of y'all a little bit closer. 
Come on, y'all can see me. Y'all can see me on that big, that big screen right there, but I can't see you that close. Uh, but when you say, in the name of Jesus, Come on, no matter what it is, no matter it's a confusion, yeah. come on. torment, yeah. come on, yes. sickness, come on. financial problem. When I say I plead the blood, means what? Oh. I rest my case. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Now, when you say you rest your case, that means let it rest. Are y'all still with me? Yeah. When you say I rest my case, that means let it rest. That's it. What does that mean? No more arguments going on. That's right. No more you should have, you could have, you ought to. Come on. When I say I rest my case, yeah. come on, that means I ain't worrying about it no more. Right. Come on, I ain't going to fight over it no more. Yeah. I rest my case yeah. on the blood. I think as Andrew Murray said it this way, he said, to enjoy this blessing, nothing is necessary except faith in the blood of Jesus. Amen. All right, let's try this out right here. I, I'm looking for the drinking section. I need to find, I need to find somebody. Come on, I, I need to find somebody that will inhale. I'm, I don't want anybody just holding it in there. I need somebody that say, man, I'm, I'm taking this in, baby. I'm taking a drink from his presence. Come on. I'm leaving this place intoxicated under the influence. I have lost my mind. Glory to God. I got the mind of Christ in the name of Jesus. I plead the blood. I rest my case. On the blood of Jesus. And I sit back down, listen. So Andrew Murray said it this way. To enjoy this blessing. Woo, how many know there's a blessing here? Christ has redeemed us from the curse. Come on, I said Christ has redeemed us from the curse. He was made a curse for us. Amen, the curse of sickness and disease and every other kind of curse. Christ hath redeemed us from the curse of the law. He was made a curse for us that the blessing, the blessing of Abraham might come upon the Gentiles, listen now, through faith. But don't forget this last part. Even the promise of the Holy Spirit. Oh, you ought to say thank God for the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord. He's working on my case. Thank you, Lord, for the Holy Spirit. He's my helper, my strengthener. Thank you, Lord, for the Holy Spirit. So he says that blessing, that blessing, woo, we receive it by faith. Y'all still with me here? We receive it by faith. Come on. But it is made real in us by the power of the Holy Spirit. Woo, come on, how many got the Holy Ghost living on the inside of you? The same spirit that raised Christ from the dead, come on, lives on the inside, and he gives life to your mortal body, quickens your mortal body. Woo, come on, demons are afraid of you. Come on, you got the spirit of God living on the inside of you. And he quickens or gives life to your mortal body. Amen. Amen. Woo. Praise God. Hallelujah. I believe in the power of that blessing. Yes. <laughs> yes. So what do you mean you believe in the power? Well, I went to Brother Hagin's meetings for probably 50 years. And so the last few years, he'd do some special Holy Ghost meetings. And in those Holy Ghost meetings, man, he said the anointing of the Holy Ghost, the demonstration of the Holy Spirit would be joy and victory and some people some people would run around the church and some people might start to dance or some people might start laughing and get full of joy and holy ghost beatings and boy I was in those beatings and sometimes when that anointing would come he wouldn't do nothing much more than just say be blessed let's try this again 
That's about all he would say. Come on, he'd have the anointing. He said, when this anointing's in, in manifestation, if you will receive that blessing, come on, in the name of Jesus, because of the blood, I receive that blessing. And then sometimes he'd tap you on the head. He'd just go, boom, pop you on the head. Sometimes he didn't pop you on the head. Then ought to be strong. He'd just kind of wave at you. Go, Whoo, man, something's, something's happening here. <laughs> Amen? Amen. And I got to where I liked it so much. I went to a lot of those meetings when I could in between my meetings. And I, I'd go there and Dad Hagen would say, be blessed. Or sometimes he'd pop you on the head. Not too hard, just a little pop. <laughs> Some of y'all need a little pop for this morning. <laughs> Now, he had a big ring. Every once in a while, he'd get you with that ring. You'd really feel the pre presence of the Lord. Bonk. But when he'd tap you on the head, he'd say, be blessed. Man, the anointing. I could feel it. feel like electricity, man, on my head. Come on, get on my head. You know, on the day of Pentecost, they had fire on their head. You can't have fire on your head and act normal, I can tell you that. They got fire on their head. Come on, the anointing will destroy every yoke and lift every burden. The anointing. You might have come in here one way, but you're going to walk out another way. Come on, because of the anointing of the Holy Ghost. You say, Jesus is Lord in the name of Jesus. Amen. So I, he'd tap me in the head. And every time I'd go home from one of those meetings, wherever it was, I saw the blessing. Do you know you can see the blessing? Yes. You ought to expect to see the blessing. I mean, man, I'd see the blessing or increase of the goodness of God. Man, he'd just tap you in the head. So I went back to another meeting. Tap me in the head. Again. Amen. I got so blessed, I got to where I could bring $10,000 to every meeting. And I went to about six or seven a year. Well, it wasn't because I was so great. It's just the blessing. Yes. Anybody here believe in the blessing? Yes. That was a blessing. Yes. <laughs> and so he tapped me. I could bring, they got to where they give me a special seat up front. I was getting those seats. <laughs> Come sit up here, Mark. And so he'd <laughs> tap me in the head. Man, so I got to where I'd sit right there and lean over a little bit. <laughs> say, hit me, baby, one more time. <laughs> It just tap me in the head. Just hit me, baby, one more time. Are y'all still here? Amen. Amen. Well, the power to enjoy this blessing. Y'all still with me here? Nothing is necessary except faith in the blood of Jesus. His blood alone has done everything. His blood plus nothing, minus nothing. His blood alone has done everything. Come on now for your spirit, your soul, your mind, your body, your finances, your family, your past, your present, your future. His blood alone for angels, for heaven, for every devil, for every demon. His blood alone has done everything. Woo! I said his blood alone has done everything. So you honor the blood by acting like and declaring like. Come on, that'll give you some boldness. That means your blood blessed. I said your blood blessed. I'm blood blessed. Woo! In the name of Jesus, I plead the blood. Woo! Come on. You may need to say it more than once. Don't look at me like that. You know what I'm talking about. Because the devil is persistent, you know. He'll, he'll keep coming this way or that way. He's in the name of Jesus. 
Come on, you cannot be silent about this. I said, you cannot be silent about this. When you dare to lift up your voice in the name of Jesus, I plead the blood. That's my divine covering and my protection. I plead the blood of Jesus. Redeem. Wash. In the blood. Hallelujah. I, I was asking Trenda this morning on the way here, I said, Let's, uh, I'm, I'm writing down some of these blood songs. I grew up in church where we were just singing blood songs a lot. Hey, Amen. I've got it here in my Bible. Hold this just for a second. Uh, I put that little paper in here and Trenda might can help me because I probably forget some of them. But uh, we would sing this song here. Are you washed? Let's see if anybody washed in here. Are you washed? In the blood. In the soul cleansing blood of the Lamb. Are your garments spotless? Are they white as snow? Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Did y'all sing that song, man? We used to sing that song. All right. Then we'd sing, What can wash away my sin? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. What can make me whole again? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Oh, precious is the flow that makes me white as snow. No other fount I know. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Woo! Glory, glory, glory. Oh, here's a good one. There is a fountain. Come on now. I've got some people in here. There is a fountain filled with blood drawn from Emmanuel's veins and sinners plunge beneath that flood, lose all their guilty stain. There is a fountain filled with blood drawn from Emmanuel's veins and sinners plunge beneath that flood. Lose all. Lose all. Lose all. Not half of them, come on. Not 90%. Lose all their guilty stains, hallelujah. And shame is gone and guilt is gone. Come on now. There is a fountain filled with blood. Woo, are you washed in the blood? Come on, say it with your mouth. I am washed in the blood. I like what Smith Wigglesworth said. He said, uh, he said, as we look at these scriptures, we can see that there is not one thing in me the blood does not cleanse. Come on, because the devil will try to tell you, yeah, he got most of it. Or he got some of it. But as we look into the word of God, we can see there is not one thing in me the blood does not clean. Yes, thank you, thank you, Jesus. 100% righteous. Cleansed from sin and from all unrighteousness by the blood of Jesus. His blood alone has done everything. Woo! Now, I'm not a singer. I would sing this for you, but I can sing, but I don't like to intimidate people that are not as talented as I am, so I'm just going to read it to you. Are y'all ready for this? There is power, power, wonder-working power in the blood of the Lamb. There is power, power, wonder-working power in the blood of the Lamb. There is power, power, wonder-working power in the precious blood of the Lamb. Now, 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 if you went, if you went to a Holy Ghost church, you had to throw a few extra powers in there. You'd go there, it's power, 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 wonder-working power. <laughs> Come on, when you're feeling weak, come on now, and you're 
Come on, strategies of the enemy against your mind or your life. Come on, don't be silent about that. Even if you can't sing. Go ahead and sing anyhow. I told Pastor Mac Hammond from Minneapolis, I said, Mac, I used to pray that I could sing until I heard you. Then I started praying you could sing because I can sing better than you. Come on, you don't have to have a great voice. Just use the voice you got. Come on, lift up your voice. There's power, power, wonder-working power. Wonder-working power. Come on, miracle power to turn your situation around. Come on, when the enemy comes in, like a flood, the Spirit of the Lord lifts up a standard against him. What is that standard? He lifts up the blood of Jesus and the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Come on. Amen. So if you're in the grocery store, come on now. In the vegetable department or the, come on, or canned foods or wherever you're at. Any kind of thought comes to your mind. Any kind of pain comes to your body. You say, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I plead the blood. You're watching Mark Hankins Ministries, Faith for Every Nation. There is no doubt we're living in uncertain times. People are struggling with anxiety and have a lot of questions about what's going on in the world and how that will impact their future. Do you want to live an overcoming, victorious, and faith-filled life? Faith in the blood of Jesus can help us live in the reality of our redemption, which gives real solutions to real people for real problems. By faith, we're a part of a new bloodline, the bloodline of a champion. In this book, The Bloodline of a Champion, Mark Hankins explains the power of the blood of Jesus. Not only will we clearly see what the blood has done for us, but also what it does in us as believers. With this offer, we'll also send you the book, God's Healing Word by Pastor Trina Hankins. It's a practical guide to receiving divine healing. This book is a perfect prescription for anyone struggling with sickness, disease, even mental or emotional challenges. Here at Mark Hankins Ministries, we believe we are called to train and equip believers all over the world. This is why our vision is to translate our books into more than 100 languages. Your gift of any amount will not only help us translate books into many languages, but also help Mark and Trina Hankins train believers around the world. Visit markhankins.org or call 318-767-2001 and join us in partnership to carry the message of faith around the world. Thank you, World Missions Partners. Together we can, together we will. Thank you for joining us for the program today. We know you were transformed by this powerful teaching on the blood of Jesus. Today, we'd like to offer these two books, The Bloodline of a Champion and God's Healing Word. In The Bloodline of a Champion, you not only see what the blood has done for you, but also what it has done in us as believers. It is through our faith in the blood that our redemption becomes a reality and we can live in the fullness of the victory we have because of the blood. I remember when our three-year-old son was diagnosed with leukemia. He was in a coma and we were fighting for his life because we knew the benefits that we can walk in as believers because of the power of the blood, we were able to approach the throne of grace with boldness and we knew what belonged to us because of redemption through the blood. If you wanna walk in victory over the devil, you have to know what has already been bought and purchased for you through his sacrifice and his victory over death. My mother's book, God's Healing Word, is her personal testimony of healing of an inoperable brain tumor. And she walks you through how to receive your healing, what scriptures and promises to stand on, and what to say in the middle of the battle. You can go to markhankins.org or call the number on the screen and we will send these to you for your gift of any amount. 
My parents are called to train and equip believers all around the world with the message of who they are in Christ, the spirit of faith, and the work of the Holy Spirit. We want to thank all those who have partnered with us and helped us spread the gospel of Christ further and faster than ever before. It's because of people like you that we are able to continue to reach more people and ignite the spirit of faith to people all around the world. If you're not currently a partner with Mark Hankins Ministries, we would ask that you prayerfully consider joining us. There is a great blessing in partnership and partnering with the gospel. We want to thank all of those who have partnered with us and helped us spread this gospel further and faster than ever before. Please go over to markhankins.org where you can find all of our resources, upcoming meetings, give, and read current newsletters from my parents. And if you have not downloaded the MHM app on your phone, you are missing out. On the app, you have access to daily devotions, free sermon downloads, the podcast, the TV broadcast, and you can even watch our conferences live right there on the app. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time. So as you speak the word, you're worshiping him who said it. As you speak the word, you're saying that I believe and I have and I place my faith only in you. You are the author and the finisher of my faith. As I speak the word, Lord. If you'll take a drink like Jesus said, come to me and drink. He said, something's going to start coming out of your belly that's more than you can contain. Come on. Some of y'all had not even had a drip, you know, in months. But what happens is a gusher come on of the life of God and the power of God and revelation of the word. Come on, the joy of the Lord. A gusher, river, more than you can contain. You know, the enemy's going to try to get us off track from what God wants to do in our life. He wants to decrease our faith so that we work by the flesh. But when that comes, what do we do? We stand in faith because we're not taking that bait. We're overcomers. The word just comes alive through Mark and Trina. And we have increased financially. We have increased in our relationships. Just about every area we have gotten better because of Mark Hankins Ministries and what they do for us. Every time I come, I get fed. I get direction for the church and my personal life. And it's just a wonderful time of refreshing. It's all real here. There's no, nothing fake about it. And it is it's so awesome and life changing. It's just amazing. The Mark Hankins Ministries app makes it easy for you to watch the latest TV broadcast. Listen to unlimited full sermons by Mark and Trina. Read our daily devotional and stay connected with upcoming events. Download the app today on any smart device. Simply search Mark Hankins Ministries. Start feeding your faith at any time and anywhere. Thank you for watching Mark Hankins Ministries, Faith for Every Nation. For more information on how to build your faith, visit markhankins.org. You can access many free word resources to help you find who you are in Christ. Stay connected with us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, or our YouTube channel. Thank you for watching.